Scoopity-poo, <laughs> podcast number two for me this week, Ayo! Welcome to Bad Inputs Presents, the Bad Inputs Presents, Bad Inputs Presents, the podcast Presents. of the galaxies. I am Thanos Chester Lynx, I am here with... Uh, uh, Yole, uh, hey hey. Uh, Bram. He doesn't know his name. Bram Stark. He lost his name in the Battle Brandon, of Winterfeld. Brandon, what happened? What happened to you, Brandon? You've lost Someone pushed name. me out a window. The, which one are you looking at? That one. Or I that don't one? know. It doesn't matter. That one or that. That's the main. Don't wait. Don't do that. That's the main. Because yes, yes, folks, that is correct. We have multiple cameras. Colin, if you're editing this, I feel terrible. I was for you. just about to. Are you, <laughs> Do you want to do multicam for the first time? Sure. Yes. You know what? I'll give it a shot. I gotta get. I gotta get experience somewhere. <laughs> So we're going to keep it fairly simple. Um, we should probably point out which one is the main camera. That one. That one's the that main. One's more this is this is for the, the people stream. watching a stream. Side stream, what up, everyone? This is the main camera. What up? And uh, how's everyone doing? I'm good. As we listen to this music in the bathroom. Going fantastic. Oh, <laughs> And Tiger, Mike. Oh, Tiger, Tiger where you been? El Tigre. What's up, bro? Whoa, hey, you're showing your. Whoa, come on, you gotta. Tos, turn the server. Yeah, come on, bro. Um, you guys are showing your swans is on the stream. It's called private parts oh, for a reason. Private party. Is it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Can we call private parts? Can we do a dating podcast where we just give the worst dating advice? Call private, <laughs> call private parts. Yeah. parts. Yeah. So you better just write that down now before someone steals that. When you message it's on record, it's on record. Yeah. When you met when you message somebody on, a, on if you're doing online dating, tell them how big their boobs are. Yeah. Girls love how tell when they I mean, you have how to big their boobs it. are. You have to whisper it. It's yeah. a private part. If you're really <laughs> interested in that girl on Tinder or that dating app, if she if you're lucky enough and you match and she leaves her Instagram, you should just Instagram stalk her. Yeah. Like her photos. Make a separate Instagram account, of course. Yeah, so you can like them again. Yeah, find yeah. a hotter dude. Make that your profile. Yeah. Follow her. Talk to her for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Then be like, oh, my friend pranked me. This isn't my real picture. <laughs> this is what I look like when I go out. If she's in your Work area. Every time. If she's in your area, you can go look at the location of where she last took her picture, and then you could go there. Exactly. Yeah. That actually scares the shit out of me. Do you know Snapchat private parts people. and private stalkers? Yeah, right. Do you know Snapchat does that? What, it shares your location? Yeah, yeah, map. If, yeah Anytime map you thing, log in and shit. If you, if you swipe, like, down on Snapchat or whatever the hell, it shows what snappers are near you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's... Um, Privacy, man. I turn that shit off real quick. Nah. Actually, I don't think I can. Yeah. You, oh, because you're Apple boy. I'm kind of worried right now. Why? Because everyone knows exactly where you are. Yes. Oh yeah, we're always uh, being watched. But that's also like watch me. Isn't I'm like, not here. Isn't like security to sort of like you have to sacrifice like sort of your privacy in order to be secure? But with stuff like this, it's like I don't fucking know. Well, if you watch Mr. Robot, you keep bringing up Mr. Robot. Yeah. What's the main actor's name? Um, his name is Rami Malik. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know him. Who else is in, who else We're is buddies. in the show? Uh, my one girl, uh, uh, cool chick with who smokes cigarettes. No, I'll, cool give, I'll give you, I'll give you the hint. He was a '90s heartthrob. Uh, um, what's his name again? Uh, John Stamos. No, 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 no. no. Uh, uh, John Kuzak. Mm -mm. John Kuzak. <laughs> yeah, him. He was him. I like Kuzak. Christian Slater, double. bro. Christian Slater. Christian Slater's in that. Is that the yeah. brother of Bobby Slater? Who the, f Who the fuck is Bobby, Bobby Slater? Slater? The famous surfer. <laughs> what? That's Christian? Oh, I'm gonna slap you, silly. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. It's Christian. <sighs> what is it? Okay, Christian now Slater. Kelly. <sighs> Kelly Slater. <laughs> oh, stop! Shut up! You're only, you're only, you're Christian only, Slater, Kelly Clarkson, or Chris Clarkson? Ah! <laughs> you're confusing. You're hurting my head. You're, you're legitimately like hurting my head right now. Because Surfer and Slater, for some reason, frick. Kelly Ask Slater, the surfer. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm looking it up. It's Kelly Christian. Kelly Slater, the surfer. No, Kelly okay. Slater is a surfer. Yes. Yes. So Chris Slater. No, I almost had a freaking aneurysm. Are they birth brothers? No, they're not brothers. Are they, are they birth brothers? Are they birth siblings? One of them's a tall, cool dude that surfs. The other one's a hobbit that acts. Kelly Slater looks like he could be in. He could be like Hitman in a movie. 
He, like the bald that is, hitman? That yeah. is hitman. Yeah, it just looks that like That is definitely it. hitman. It's just exact. He just needs a barcode. He yeah. aged oddly. He doesn't look old, Did but he, he does. Did he have long hair? He looks, like, he looks like Joe Rogan's brother. Yeah. Yeah, they all look related. Yeah, he did have hair. Look at that. Oh, wow. Hit. Surfer dude. Pitted. So, Whoa, uh, what the fuck? And also, I guess That's I'll a pretty start boy. off. I, which we will probably uh, connect to the stream. We can probably do it now or later. The remote desktop thing that we tried like a year and a half ago. On that, uh, you can control Google Chrome from your phone. Whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, remember yeah. that. They fixed it. It's so much easier. Oh. My guys, I have never been so lazy <laughs> these past like three weeks. It's been bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's like, because my, my cable and my entertainment, it's all through my computer. It's connected it to my TV I have through HDMI. New age. And yeah, oddly enough. And so, like, from watching YouTube or like, uh, it's time to go to a different website, pull out my phone, tap it, remote desktop, and then you just can control the mouse like that, go to the sidebar, scroll, slide down, keyboard. I'm like, all right, <laughs> this is pure fat assery <laughs> at its finest. I've, oh my God. <laughs> I, I've done something like similar. So, when I, because before I go to bed, I usually watch some YouTube videos on like my Xbox down there. Mm -hmm. But, there's times where we'll basically we'll just turn on the controller and then go to a YouTube channel and then I'll forget that the controller's on and it just wastes battery. Oh yeah. And so I've been super lazy to just go down and get new batteries. So I downloaded an Xbox app and I think I showed you this. Yeah. And it has basically the same, it has like a layout of the controller. Yeah. So it's just the most lazy fucking any, like I just don't need to get up. I, I am too lazy for like a week to just go get batteries that are right fucking there. I'm looking at them. That's dope. Yeah, that's, oh yeah. That's terrible. real nice. It's look at what that's technology has done to terrible. us. Terrible. Yeah. yeah. That's real nice. Um, hold on guys, I forgot something. What did you forget? What did you do now? Your wig. Did you forget to hit record? No. You, turned, you forgot to turn on the shotgun mic. Oh. And it's the newest member of the family. Yeah. yeah say, shotgun mic, better audio, so if the audio sounds better right now. Say hi to Lumix. Yeah. Hi, hi, Lumi. Lumi, me. Hi. You're so pretty. This is test. Yes, very pretty. Yeah, Eloy is enamored with his new. What's your uh, my baby girl? Camera. What have you found out you've been lazy about? Um, Wait, no, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> How has technology furthered the need for you to not exert energy? Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fuck. I have a theater. I have a theater. I have a a, a, a heater, mm. and it has a remote, uh -huh. so I can p turn that bitch on from my bed. <laughs> turn that bitch on from my bed. Like I know you, <laughs> where you would like you would like get all comfortable. You're I'm like, all comfortable I'm in shit. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah, I know. I'm what you all mean. good, and mm. it heats up my whole room very very fast. And um, I have my Alexa. Oh my lord. Play tunes from our favorite person, Seal. I'm gonna slap you silly again. <laughs> fuck my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking Siri. <laughs> Shut up. Why is there a favorite person setting? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Seal? He's a, he's a, a good guy. Yeah, he is. If you listen to Seal in the last three years, unironic. <laughs> not kiss my fucking nose. <laughs> okay, I'm still good. And not crazy. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, he's, I was about to say he's. The, Siri. Alexa, shut up. Bigsby, <laughs> who's your daddy? You try it again. Bigsby. It's Bixby. Hey an Bixby. X, with an X. Hey Bixby. <laughs> Hey, hey, Bixby. Yeah, see, it doesn't work. Hey. This is stupid. Bixby's dumb. Don't listen to Bixby. Hey, Siri. Do you know who Bixby is? Do you know who your podcast is? Oh. Oh, it tells who when Bixby was I'm, made. I'm already bored. I'm already bored. I don't. You know what? I don't care about pigs. How is how is, that's, this is a better question? How has new technology made you bored? Oh God! Oh, it's, think about it. Oh, I know what he means. He's totally because like you can get entertainment so quickly that you become bored that quickly. It's very easy for you to like 
watch one thing and immediately get bored and then have to watch something else or or read something else or look at something else it's it kind of sucks like in a way it's cool like in a way it's good right because you do like you're gonna look at more things that might influence you in a day which is great right because it's just so quick at the tip of your fingers but at the same time it's like how much of it do you retain mm -hmm. especially like going on reddit there's so many things that i've been like that's really cool i'm gonna remember that no yeah it's I just a don't. lot of just oversaturation yeah it's just a, it's just so much in your eyeballs that you have to constantly be not bored in order to not be bored you know what i mean like you can't just enjoy yourself as much like people just don't do that like i i like the only time i do that now is like is like if i sit and listen to an album and I just mm. sit and listen. And even then, I can keep, I can like see myself get fidgety. And it's like, I don't know. That's kind of a problem. But I also have ADD, so. <laughs> I get bored by, uh, by Alexa's figure. If only Alexa was much more... Um, Womanly? Uh, I want you to try busty. that again, but so with wanna, a serious answer. Yeah. So you want to fuck Alexa, is what you're saying? If only Alexa had a figure to her. That's boring. Man. Alexa, she's being a, she's ignoring Al me. Alexa, please grow boobs so that I may fuck them with penis. Oh, she doesn't even. Care. Wow, the FBI heard that and they're yeah. like, "What the fuck is wrong with these people?" Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh. Turn boobs. <laughs> fuck penis. Me want boobs. Me want boobs. Me want boobs. <laughs> penis. <laughs> Can I suck in boobs? Me want nipple. Go. If I understand what you're talking at your question that you're questioning me about officer um, <laughs> I kind of feel like I've been like that for a while I mean, how long like are you, my are you numb well, I've been, are you numb to technology I've been numb for a while oh, damn. <laughs> the liquor controls me I, I remember <laughs> having a lot of fall breaks just being home and because everyone else is at work and playing music while playing Final Fantasy 7 like Miss Jackson and stuff like that like make, burning mixtapes and playing video games that always went hand in hand for me because mm -hmm. I was alone so it doesn't really feel <laughs> wow that's sad <laughs> so it doesn't feel all that because you would do something with like this you do the same thing but with different tools and now it's just the tools are easier kind of what do you mean well so like if you played Final Fantasy and you were listening to music or listening to something it was like okay here's my game system and a cd player or here's my game system and like an old school ass ipod right like now it's kind of like slightly different like all it is is like the method's the same the tools are different Monotonous. yeah 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 because you only listen to music in the goddamn video game for so long that's true i was like yep yeah, yeah. prison music again nope rather listen to backstreet boys black and blue album blah 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 well grinding out levels or whatever see i never i when i would play video games when i was a kid i would just ba, ba, that ba. was it it was just mm. and i was and i think i know why i have astigmatism i was the kid that was sitting right up at the front oh that explains a lot yeah i remember yeah, yeah. I, okay i remember going to your birthday party i think it was when i first met you <laughs> and this is gonna be embarrassing you had your you had your razor phone i think it was Oh yeah, yeah, crazer or something the like that. Yeah, the flazer yeah. or whatever the fuck yeah. it was called. Yeah, it's, yeah. And then like we yeah. chilled outside, we did our thing, and then we went up to your mom's room to play uh, video games. And you sat in front of the TV, you know, super close, at least like two or three. <laughs> do feet. you remember the way I sat? Because you guys yeah. would comment on that too. And you do? No, you. I I think you did Indian style. Uh huh. Or did uh, you do like that? I would like, do like like here. Knees. We, I, I would do this weird thing, yeah, where I would like. And your, I'd like, your legs sit, are like, I'd like, like out, like you yeah, have a flipper. So I'd like sit like this, cross legged, and then I would put it back and I'd like sit on my legs. Oh, God. Yeah, it was really weird. Yeah, good oh, luck trying. God. Oh, oh God. no, no. Oh, I God. That looks like it I hurts. Do that. How? <laughs> like well, you're riding painful. a motorcycle, but like your taint is hitting the floor. Yeah. Here, hold on, Tiger, get up. Here, I'll do it. It was like, I can't. Do it anymore because it's fucking old. Ouch. No. Yeah. No. Like Ankles. That. Right. That's what I would sit on. Yeah. I'd sit on my actual legs. But you'd be like two, three feet in front of the TV, oh. and then there's just like a, a sea of kids. Not a sea of kids, but like five sea kids children. behind you, like two or three feet behind you. Black kids. Yeah. Just like watching you play. I just, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh... Colin was the original Twitch streamer. 
You <laughs> we all watched him play video games. Yes. That's true. Yeah, but I should have actually been playing with people instead of just playing by my fucking self. Like a weirdo. When no, I have but- friends over. I did that when I was like five. When I was like five, I had we had a pool party. Nobody went in the pool, and I had people just sit and watch me play a video game. That's what I was all the pool hey, parties. Man. That was my friend's pool party. It was your grade. party. I just I had a headache. I remember, but I tried to swim and drown almost. And everyone went inside to play Mega Man X for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> the hell, what kind of party? We drove like forty five minutes to this person's like aunt's house. We we're gonna go swimming. It's like my first like away from this area type of thing. We ended up playing Mega Man. That's awesome, actually. No, oh, I like it. <laughs> Mega Man X is great. Play that game. Hey, play it. If you haven't played it, play it. It's I've really never good. played it. You should play it. It's very good. Don't play it. It's very. It's it, probably. Don't play it. Honestly, it's like, and I don't mean this is my favorite video game, but it's, it's like not for your people. It's the whoa. You can take that. Yeah. Hey, huh? I played Mario. Huh? We're all poorly. We're all different. Greatly. <laughs> gaming wise, I know someone just got here, but we're all minorities of a different gaming cloth. I love first person shooters. <laughs> 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 Eloy, what's your gaming cloth cut? Your cloud of. R M M O R P G Y X Z. Colin, what cloth do you cut out? Hentai. <laughs> You see? What? That's the way we all <laughs> we all game in our own way together. Yeah. Oh, I was jacking off. World <laughs> that we're in, because that's what brings us together. I like open world games. <laughs> I don't know why it's, the, it's like a serious answer. <laughs> <laughs> this is his whole cadence. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about open world game? Oh, God, <laughs> this is like, well, you played one. You played Horizon Zero Dawn. Can I can I share something? Yeah, like, sure. That um, dude, actually no. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> and that's the end of the podcast, folks. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the Valencia had a Super Smash Brothers club. What? There's like seven people. Did you go? No. The fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna go up there and steal some ice cream. Money match. Money match. Money match. Yeah. Money match, money match yeah. Me. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Be a 28 year old grown man and stealing fucking lunch money. No. Watch your ass get beat by a 12, 13 year old. <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably more likely. Oh, we're probably gonna I would never show my face again. <laughs> like just instances of just nerdiness that was not shut down how I thought it would be. I think it was just... I saw just so much adorable shit. No. Like, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Being a nerd I, is I, cool now. But I gotta give our high school credit once again because it's still the same way. I had to sit in for a class and, like, these three, uh, I think, cross-country dudes, you know, just whatever, seniors, cooler than they're cut out from to be whatever. So. Yeah. Just like their shit don't stink, just talking about seeing movies and the N word way too loud. Um, oh, uh, nice. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming because it was a black teacher. Um, nope. You talk about the, they're black, but they're talking about Detective oh. Pikachu. Yes, of course oh. they're black. I don't know, man. <laughs> what are they? I don't fucking know. I would say, I would have to say something. Okay, good. I would beat the shit out of <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess I assumed off the bat they were racist. I, would I don't not know. Beat the sh- I would report them to the appropriate. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Oh. Um, report them to the appropriate. And, and also John and Jane. <laughs> Principal Adams. Yeah. Uh, and then Allison Detective Pikachu came up, and from across the room, just like the nerdiest, like the nerdiest person was like, Detective Pikachu, blah, 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 blah. They're like, Oh yeah, for real? Blah 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 blah. And also the girl is like, oh, I never really got into a Pokemon that much, blah blah blah. And the kid, instead of taking the note, it was like, you know, if I was, I was, if I was the parent, I'm like, encourage him to talk to her. Like, you know, yeah. someone in his league. He started talking about the Pokemon mechanics. No. But she held interest. She Damn. was like, oh, okay. She's really? advanced. Yeah, she's like, okay, really, tell me more. I was like, Ah, okay. yeah. that's wholesome. Okay, that's some wholesome okay. stuff right I there. I appreciate that. I feel good. I that's good. That, that warms my heart for like a two minutes. It wouldn't stop. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's probably excited. He probably loves Pokemon, yeah. and he's like, "Oh, somebody's interested. I want to talk about it." Yeah, and it's a girl. Yeah, that happened like multiple times. 
the fact that we have to preface because this is the thing by the way we know girl gamers Rich. exist no just say it they, they, just they, say we know it. they exist say it from where we were in 2009 to where we are now oh yeah there was a nerd you didn't talk about video games with girls never no you don't do that that's no you're asking to not get your dick sucked and it, period I, I was just you are I I, I even now, like even now, like dating now, it's way more accepted. Mm -hmm. But I and I will lightly touch on the stuff that I'm interested in. Yeah. But I will lightly touch on it. Yeah. Like somebody, so there was like a comic I saw on Reddit, and it was um. <laughs> <laughs> Barely grazed the surface. It, it was uh, it was like somebody was having a conversation, and I think it was like either like a date or like a work friend thing, and then they were like. They like brought up video games and then they like peered into the person's mind and there was like a door with like two people holding it back and it said talking about video games and they're like hold steady <laughs> it's like that's exactly what it feels like is because you're like i want to nerd out about it but i don't you're not like in that mode but i've talked to girls on certain sites as well where it's like we'll get into a conversation and i'm like oh, fucking this and this and that and they're like right on beat and i'm like this is yeah oh. and that's the that's the thing that's kind of weird for me now because it's like it came out of nowhere where you can just talk to girls about video games when i was at work the other day someone was just at uh, she's like oh i just got a nintendo switch i'm like cool mm -hmm. and then she's like yeah i'm like trying to play this one game or i'm like what kind of game do you have she's like oh i got mario kart mm -hmm. and we talked for like another like five minutes about like how she's like liking mario kart. i'm yeah. just like all yeah. right then he was of like, course <laughs> No, go on. No, bitch. You want one fifty CC though? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this talking shit? Hey, like she's she stepped in in the realm of gaming now. Now I get to talk my shit. That's true. <laughs> you know how many, do you know how many profiles I've gone and they're like, I could beat you at Mario Kart, and I just fucking scoff. <laughs> and I message them and then I tell them you're fucking you're terrible you're when, a fucking pussy and when and where I was gonna say yeah in a playful way right yeah. and then you're like no you're a fucking yeah, pussy you're a fucking pussy I grew up on Mario Kart I know it better than everyone you know you can do it. I feel like yeah, it's going back to the kids like interacting with girls and like flirting I was like I feel like it's just me kind of like looking back at where I was at like putting myself in their shoes mm -hmm. and like oh you just don't see the signs, you stupid kid, you <laughs> stupid idiot. <laughs> kid straight up picked up a football and threw it like near the cheerleaders because he knew it would get their attention, mm -hmm. but then like did nothing with it. I'm like, you fucking idiot. You had, you had him. You had him. You let it Damn. flow away. Damn. Yeah. Two laps. <laughs> you ever, like, wow. I have a question for you. You ever see something or like hear a conversation with a kid and just ever feel like you want to throw a book at their face? Yes. All the time. Yeah. It, well, I, I, <laughs> what, what, what? That look is like a can of worms that I just opened. Yeah. Uh, How do I, where should I start? You want the, <laughs> you want the. Give me the bad. Okay. Uh, the good, the bad, the ugly. Look, PE classes. If you forget your shorts or your shirt, you borrow. You need, like we did. You oh, give ID cards. Okay. Yeah, I remember you that. Sign something. Yeah, I had yeah. to do that. So oh, I hate uh, that shit. Coach, I forgot some clothes. Where's your ID? Oh, I forgot it. How are you gonna borrow clothes? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> you fucking kid. <laughs> you, just, you fucking kid. So you want a zero? No. So you get a change? Yeah. Go change. <laughs> get out your numbers get out your numbers I can take roll uh, where's blah 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 I'm right here why aren't you on your number I don't know do you want to be marked absent no get on your number <laughs> How, this is that's the, that age though it's like you just absent responsibility exactly. that's why you I, just, today was like the meanest I feel like I've been like, sarcastic <laughs> you got to yeah, yeah. like in terms of like if you watched our videos before or any of our streams like I am a dick, but like more so like Eloy calling no to give it back. Yeah, yeah. This one's like blah 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 blah. If you don't finish this, you guys have to run. They're like, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm fucking kidding. <laughs> I'm shitting with you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> but but you do like the dead. You do like the deadpan. Yeah. Like you don't blame. That's why. Like I've run into so many people that don't know when you're joking when you do that. That's why I was like, fuck. I have to find a middle ground for this. So now I'm like, ha ha ha. Your teacher's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, like they understand, like I'm actually like, being jovial with their ass. Yeah, but like if you want to like oh, talk dude. about what I heard, overheard, I see enough people making out as it is. Oh, great! It's That's just, lovely. 
and like in front of their friends. What the fuck? Like, and it's know, not like it's it's not like I feel like it's like high school makeout. Like what? <laughs> Those are like compressed. Like what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, Where get like, 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 I'm thinking like high school tan containers that like uh, carry trash or whatever mm-hmm. that you can like hide behind if you don't want to run. Yeah, yeah. So it was like two people making out and all, a disgusting. group of four of their friends like this far away from each other. Are they looking out? And I'm walking to my car. I'm just like, oh. Like, why? Like, like, why are there? Like, why are there? Like, you're making up like, you know, like, for that's, that's what I think of. Like, ugh. It smells like trash. Friends, too. Oh. Okay, those are some kids who don't have decency. Because I remember back in the days, like, I would do the same thing, but I go to the lockers. Yes. Like, yeah, at, least yeah. locker, at least it smells privacy. there. Go to the locker. It may smell like piss every once in a while, but, you know, like. Not in front of your friends. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Like PDA in on private. Top of PDA. The only, t- the only time we ever did did that was like if we were at parties yeah where everyone's drunk and no one gives a crap no, but yeah. I did, okay, yeah. not broad daylight at lunchtime where you only have 20 that's fu- minutes that's <laughs> funny that's funny because you said it's like pda like you don't you did you try to avoid that shit you know unless it's at a party where you're drinking and you're just like you know a hey, fuck it everybody else is doing it oh yeah the but person i was are you horny and you're drunk yeah are you, yeah fucking, you know i was in high school hated me because i didn't want to do it near the locker rooms it'd be like 10 seconds I'm like alright we're good <laughs> Damn, dude. Like, you gotta be I had no shame <laughs> I would do it I, no shame. I was terrible but yeah, I'm like mm, hand holding we're good yeah. That's like I think I, I don't I'm like, weird I don't give a shit. Like, that's, shit I think like, that's the tears of, of, of those type of kids. <laughs> <laughs> the kids who didn't give a shit, the kids who had no shame, and the kids who just I, didn't, I, you I know. Think it's adorable in PE. I'll give it to them. Sh- like, no, it's not. It oh, where they're sitting on their numbers and they're holding hands. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think you meant like well, making yeah. out. Like uh, no. Oh, no, that's gross. Oh yeah, that's gross. Yeah, like, they're like holding hands and like that's cute. They're just like talking about shit. I'm like, yo, like, motherfuckers talking about shit. You got nothing to talk about. <laughs> oh, fine, whatever. <laughs> just talking about your day and your pimple that you got that one day at your grandma's house. Like, yeah. it's just nothing. Like, they separated the boys and girls to run the mile. And so, like, one of the guys was shirt on his girl and, like, embarrassing her and shit like that. Aww. I'm like, oh, that's precious that's bullshit. A, that's a, that's it's wholesome. fucking cute. You need to run faster. <laughs> 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 that's, yeah, like, I, I do, I don't care about PDA. Like, like, but there's a limit, right? Like, mm-hmm. like, I'm all right with like hugging, holding hands, and even like a slightly longer kiss than normal. Yeah. I'm all right with that. I'm not gonna stick my tongue down your throat. Yeah. You're not gonna public. finger in like in the middle of well, public. Well, I've done that. You know, just in, like on a bus or something. Run your mile. In, in, in school, like while running the mile, you just finger finger blast. <laughs> just, not, you're just like, hey, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> Stop. I don't want to hear any of this. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. I mean, te- I mean, just turn on teacher Stop. talking right now. Stop. <laughs> on your own time. You ever heard of the figure blasted Stop mile? The fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear anyone any under the age of fucking anything. <laughs> fuck. Oh, well, what I was going to say is like there's people, there's people I've seen in 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 public who will like do that spank yeah. in public? Yeah. Nah. Uh, nah, dude. Like, like I'll, look, I will do it if I know A, no one's watching. Yeah. But, like, I've seen people where they're like, I'm in line in freaking Disneyland. And it's not and like somebody's just like, like, like patting it's not. Hey. Yeah. Oh, dude, I've, yeah. Seen worse. I've seen just like a hardcore, like, fucking. Yeah. Like, it's, you're bad. I think that's Ugh. bad, but in, not saying mine, but in various churches I've seen over the years, it's the back rub. Oh, it's the, oh, gross! Uh, oh, gross! That, that's weirder. Why is that weirder than the spanking? <laughs> oh God! Call just mumble, ramble, blah blah blah. You're a pastor in church. So uh, I see him like. And on this day, we give thanks to the people who gave us this. La- yeah, I'm mean, kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> and <we're> right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can take your hand away now. <laughs> Please. All right, man. Uh, no, no, on his shoulder. Uh, okay, they... Okay. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. It's just like me from like age 12 to now. I'm like... Y'all in the like, church. It's, isn't that weird? Yeah, it's very like, weird. like Jesus gets me hard. Like what yeah. the fuck? Like, <laughs> what is, what's happening? <laughs> like, like in the middle of church, you just, just a random shit. Yeah. And the Ten Commandments were straight up. Ooh. Straight up. I'm not about to die in college. Straight up. Like, kind of hard. Listening. 
Yeah, and, and today we give the. Oh, see, I already didn't like. Uh, oh, come on! Oh, that's awful. What is? Why? Like, just can't. Just do it. Wait an hour and then go back home and just have your do your thing. That's what I'm Always saying. It's Olu about a specific couple. Oh, like, you God. know this. You would say it. Like, you know this. Goldman just fuck the shit out of each other on a blessed Sunday. I'm like, don't yeah, say those dude. words to me. <laughs> of course, Odi Olu. No shame. <laughs> no shame in the game. That's the tears, I think. And, uh, it's just like people just don't give a shit. Uh, side, yeah. I, the last thing I'll say is I, I did have a student, I'm putting your ass on blast, don't know your name, but overheard her say, well, I'm 17 and he's 23. I'm 17 and he's 23. I'm 17 and he is 23. And then what was the last, the, the next part? Do I have to say it? You have to say it. Mm. You have to say it. Mm. <laughs> and so uh, when I turn, it's going to be fine because I'm going to get it. <laughs> I'm going to get it. What the heck, dude? I What's up, Reese? Re Reese Luke? Going on. R.E.S. Luke? How you doing? Uh, we're, we're, we're talking about the difference uh, between being in so high school bad. in 2019 and 2009. And, and we're also old people, by the way. We're, yeah. we're, our, we're almost 30, so. Yeah, late 20s. You're so. almost 30. Let You're almost 30. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guess what music they played for, uh, you know, when the, it's like, oh, last day of school for seniors, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. At Valencia, they played, uh, Don't, you not can't that same count shit. on me like one, oh, two. Oh, what? Like Bruno Mars, I'm like, damn, I am old. Yeah. Ain't that some shit? Is, like gra is that like their graduation music? What was that one song they always played at our dances? I think graduation. Oh, no. Because every time we touch, we have this feeling. What I say, Every time we kiss, the da, 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 Dude, apparently people were spending. Oh, I didn't tell you. Yeah, sorry to fuck I, I up your the name. Text, right about what? the person that got three hundred dollars jacked from the locker. No, no, that sucks. And the person that got five hundred dollars jacked. Why? why? Okay, why are they bringing <laughs> up? Okay. Are they jinxed? <laughs> why are they? Uh, Ari Sluke. Okay, Ari Sluke, you got it. Ari Sluke. So Ari once again, this has to do with. Uh, uh, Welcome. The area is it's not bringing that far from where we live. To swear to God, it's like a 10 minute drive. Okay. But it's like an economic difference of crazy proportion. Yeah, that's true. So for some reason, there are a couple of kids carrying $300 on them, $500 on them, and about an eighth of wheat. So during okay, uh, drug, drug deal, deal? people are stupid. Sorry. Drug deal? I'm like already angry. Teenagers? You want some yeah. change? Teenagers. I get Fucking it. Kidding. So during six period PE. Stupid. Kids find out that some of the lockers uh, have gone. People try to go through the lockers and went through them. Smart ones actually locked their lockers. Who doesn't the, lock their and so we can only put the pieces together that the kids with the money and all that stuff were flaunting it in the locker room mm. and then didn't lock their lockers. Mm -mm. And so the kid that got mad was not the one that got the money stolen. It was the one that got the weed stolen. But he didn't know how to relay it to the coaches. So he was like, these motherfuckers, man, these fucking people. The coaches were saying the exact words. Like, these motherfuckers, they stole my thing. They're like, what did they steal? What did they steal? He's like, coach, these motherfuckers stole my shit, man. They're like, what did they steal? Don't worry about a coach, but they stole my shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god! Like retry, redo. Okay, I got you. Oh, re man. re Sluke. So yeah. So I said the same exact thing. I was like, "What were sixteen-year-olds doing carrying three hundred dollars? Were they selling?" They were like, "I don't know." I was like, "They must have been selling." I feel that's like the it. only reason for someone to have full-grown adults <clears throat> only if they're traveling whole two hundred dollar bills. Yeah. So they can exchange it. That was the only time I had that much money in cash on me. I only had but that was when I went to Israel. Yeah. I keep at most I probably keep like 40, yeah. 60, 60 bucks on me, yeah. maybe at most. Like because that's all I need. Like like what else do I need that would cost me three hundred dollars in cash on the spot? Nothing. Or five hundred I do almost nothing. Don't worry. You can go maybe store, two pounds of weed. You can go store it in your Tesla. So three different kids had stuff Joe stolen, Tesla. and two of them probably had it replaced. They could have been buying. T oh, that's true. He has a good point. He said they could have been buying too. Bruh, but like, what the fuck? Fucking what shit, you dude. You're buying either a lot of weed fuck. or you're buying like like high end cocaine or yeah. meth. And we had, that was the heck you're buying. And that school also like they are doing an interesting program where like 
there are kids that are coming back from um, rehab, and so they're. Uh, what? They are so the intermix. I forgot the term they use. I can't. Uh, but it's like just like a, a mixing pot of a culture, a couple kids that are dealing with some stuff. You notice their skin tone is a lot paler than mm. everyone else's. Their work ethic is a little, you know, a little kick in the butt. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. It's a mixture of really rich kids and some kids with problems. That's why Dang. I was like, go ahead. They'll just go store it in their Tesla. <laughs> That's I don't even know. Like that's just that's makes me I, sad for both of them. Kind of. I'll share with you too. I'll share with you too. I'll share with all of you what I shared. We I just today is the last day of school for the seniors at we'll call the school Galaxy High, and um, unfortunately, there was a crazy accident that involved no one else, no alcohol, but just pure adrenaline of being young, I guess, and I. Three students crashed a car and it was wrapped around a pole. So sad. And I saw the picture of it. I really wish Colt Holm sent it to me so I can show it to everyone else that's young and stupid right now of how invincible you think you feel because you're graduating high school. And they came out with a broken leg and two broken arms. The guy with the broken leg, it took an hour and 35 minutes to get him out of the backseat of the car. That's how scrunched up it was. Like, don't you learn from that? I I swear to you. I'm fucking sure I walked past him yesterday too. Don't That's you learn from that? What was that? Yeah. That every every 15 minutes yeah. or something they do that demonstration in the middle of the year or some shit like that, mm-hmm. just so that they do not have accidents while they drive, so yeah. they are safe yeah. at least to be weary of where you are and what you're doing while you're driving. And this happened in the gated community. Oh come on! <laughs> this happened in the gated community part. Not even like it's pure street. stupidity. This is that. Uh, one thirty in the afternoon. There's probably the thing is, is they probably not only feel invincible because they're young, but they're also way too fucking rich for their own good. They're too spoiled where they they think that not only is are they not going to get in trouble, but it's going to go their way, mm-hmm. right? Like it's like you're gonna just come out on top no matter what it is that you do. Yeah. Kind of thing. It's like not be bad just to be bad. It's be bad because you have no consequences. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Prepare. They could have been preparing for a party. True. There was white, a skinny kid in the back of my class who started shaking randomly. He was really pale, so they sent him to the nurse, and he got drug tested. He was using heroin, and they found me. What the? Yeah. Hot damn. What, yeah. What, was this was this in high school? Oh my god. This must have I'm been. Yeah, it must have been in high school. Sorry to hear that. They don't have nurses in college. I'm honestly sorry to hear that. Yet I witnessed that also. That's Jesus, terrifying. That's dude. shocking. I don't. Yeah, I don't like the fact that in the three months I've. Subbed. I've I've, in, I've encountered two kids with tags that say I've been like in rehab. Like it doesn't. It makes I. I'm lucky. It, I. It makes me like reevaluate a lot of shit when like, I go I'm home. I'm gonna go full PTA meeting here, but like, where the hell are the parents? That's what it says. And That's like, what happens because the just, parents complain to coach, coach, and they're like, oh, there's a kid and he's he got it. There's two kids with jewel pods and blah blah blah, and he's like, what the hell are we supposed to do? It's odorless. And kids can vape in class easily. I saw kids vaping if he had uh, we're fucking whatever the fuck. Yeah, whatever. It's hard. It's like, and they just put it back in their hand. And so like, you can't, and like, it's, so it's really hard to monitor. But once again, it all just goes back home and what you tell your kids and how to interact with those people. It's, it's like, it's I, the, when I was in high school, I saw the drug dealers. I knew where they were. The parents are uh, too busy rubbing each other in church or, and, compl- you know, <laughs> yeah, or complaining and trying to get people fired because their kids were saying blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, I, oof. You know, you're you're terrifying me because I'm going to be a school bus driver soon. Well, you only have to I'm going to fucking... Ugh. No, they're going to be on their phones. I'm going to put up a... I'm, I'm going to put up a rule. You're I'm going to put up a rule. The top 10 rules on Eloy's bus. You're, you're gonna, if you fuck up, I'm going to kick you. I'm going to drop kick you. Get the hell out of my, my bus. Number two is no heroin. Number three, no make it out in your smelly places. <laughs> Fuck all that. You always say he's an old black uncle. I took a jump in the back of the bus. Don't make out near that. Seriously, Hell if you throw bus. up, don't make out next to it. Hell off my bus. If you throw up, I'm going to kick you out. What's up, Paul? That's Paul Chitvit. Hey, Paul. Hola. I don't think I ever say your last name right, and I apologize for that. But Chit Venice. Chit Venice? Is that how you say it? I tried to say it on stream one time, and I was really bad at it. I what nationality is you that? Can, you can butcher my name. <laughs> Which nationality is that? I'm not sure. No, I'm not saying. I'm not. I hope guess. you don't get the bad bus that every school has. 
Oh yeah, you might. Get oh, oh no, you guys can assist, you have an assist it, right? Well, when I'm training, I will say oh, you don't get one when you're on only your field only field trips. Did you ride the bus with like during um, D block and like Gene and all those people? No, I've always yeah. heard about that. Was like a but big like, we yeah. Never, we never messed with the driver. We just did a bunch of we just did a bunch of like weird stuff in the back. That's not reassuring. <laughs> Stop fucking God, do whatever you want, man. <laughs> Weird stuff. <laughs> yeah. The fuck? Bye, it's 2019. You never guys are finger blasting each other in the back. What? Leg game. The leg game. Yeah. The no. fuck is a leg game? If you were a girl, you move your hand and you go. Do like I want that to? And see how far you move your hand up before you get on top. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, I've done that. So like we never mess with a bus driver, but like nowadays it's like play gay hand chicken. I say it with girls. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I say it with I say I say it with girls. You put on a dress one day, and then went to school. Doesn't mean you're a girl. Totally. How many? How many? Um, it's his own different version of who's in my mouth. So like it's weird. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> so I imagine what I see basically kids on their Chromebooks and their phones, a little rowdy. It's probably gonna be that, but extrapolated. Which is, I don't want to socialize with anyone, even though we're in the age of I need to socialize <laughs> with people in mm. the back of the bus. You're probably, everyone's going to just go as far to the back as possible, yeah. probably. Nobody wants to be I'm still going to put t- top 10 rules. You can't have... You know, I might gate off each section of the seats so they don't cross <laughs> over. Um, maybe... Be, what are you, segregating people? Not just, not just one camera. No, it's not segregation it's not, if I segregate the whole like bus. A, it sounds like an old school Jewish church where they put a curtain between the men and the women. It's not that <laughs> if I segregate the whole bus with 10 different, six, maybe 12 different uh-huh. sections. Yeah, this all sounds good and maybe like 10 different cameras and uh, you know, <laughs> cameras. Uh, just so they don't hurt themselves Paul said that it's Thai and Chinese uh, Thai cool Reese Luke Eloy said bus. we never Thai mess- in Chinese we never messed with a bus driver we just created bombs in the back bombs oh, don't add he's saying don't add rules and just be cool and yeah. then you'll be like it's my rules yeah Okay, were you a part of the bus of the rowdy ass kids? Look, each section is gonna be separated with a towel, just like that. Yep. Yeah. So no one can see each other. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just buy like twelve sheets of metal so they don't even hear each other. Sound, soundproof everything. Buy some egg cartons and shit. Soundproof each side. Yeah, you get a baby seat lock. Yeah. yeah he's like, there you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you At know, least, yeah, I'll look like I know what I'm doing. You look like you're trying to pen animals in a fucking bus. Know. You know, kids but are metal fence. You may, like they, may, they may be animals. <laughs> you're destroying everything I worked for during the middle of the day. <laughs> <laughs> trying to treat them like people. Yeah, they're trying to <laughs> get in your seat. Yeah, just, yeah, just, you're a bus. You're a bus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, like I, I, I manage, you know, uh, you adults like, like during the day. Overhead cuffs, so they're just like this the whole time on the bus. <laughs> so what did you eat for breakfast? I don't know. Go to school the next day. I'm like, why do you guys look so down? The bus driver kind of. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, 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 like rub you. their wrists or like nothing. <laughs> All the kids are wearing long sleeves. It's 90 degrees. What's happening over there? Is, is it your parents? No, I don't want to say. <laughs> I fell down the stairs, bus. I mean, bus. I mean, can you take me home? <laughs> the worst. Oh, this is, we have to delete this bot. Your bosses are going to like see yeah, us. Yeah, I know, like, no, oh my no. God, you hired an abuser. I, 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 I will be, I think, uh, to be honest, I think I, I uh, <laughs> this sounds terrible. I'm going to yell at them. This sounds say, terrible. Say no, I, I manage adults during the day uh-huh. and I know that they, can have their moments, so I feel like I'm prepared for. But at something. least adults try to hold it in. Now, now you're gonna deal with depending on the adults age. Adults are whiny motherfuckers. But now you're gonna deal, if you're dealing with like kid I kids, the, kids, yeah. there's gonna be a kid that comes up to you and be like, "Your glasses are stupid." Yeah, they're just I don't give a shit. Okay, they're kids, you know, this is why they're they're white. Oh, oh, oh. Adults are whiny motherfuckers. Like I, 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 I am telling you, I, have, I know I look a little crazy right now. But I have, I think, eight months combined of, like, operating and, like, connecting calls and community community service, customer service. Yeah, no, no. I, I, I did the right thing of not being at where I was last year and being here. I'd rather do this and 
rather than get cussed out by adults I can't react to. At least that at least with sucks. kids yeah. at least with kids you can you diffuse the situation. Yeah, That's you true. can diffuse more. This that is like, true. Oh, why is it taking so long to connect me? I want to talk to your uh, supervisor. You're like it'll escalate until it explodes. Yeah. That's really not or normal. implodes. Uh sucks. Aris Luke said my bus was the one with all the cool kids, but we had a cool bus driver, so we were like, oh yeah, so if you get all the cool kids who like do all the bad shit and you might be in trouble. Oh, I'm not hurting him. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, dog. <laughs> when you're assigned to the kindergarten. Yeah, if you get the kindergarten bus, have fun. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. I hope I do. You're gonna be, you know, you're going to be picking up so many kids dookie somewhere. What? Oh, yeah. Kindergarten? No. All right. No. Oh, we're going to have bowel control. What kind of kindergarten kid's going to be shitting on the bus? What? P? I, I think you I have no idea. Did you shit on the bus as a kid, Colin? No. As a kid in Cardigan Kid? No, I shit, I shit my pants one time, but I never shit on the bus. You shat on the bus. No, I didn't shit on the bus. You were that one kid who shat on the I bus. Got, no, on I got field taken. Because I, I was in fucking private schools. I never shat on the bus. So I got taken to school every day and taken back home, but not on a bus. No, like field pants. trips? I never shat on a field trip. Oh, okay. Hopefully, no. I, I think I'm just going to do the field trip. No, I've shit, I've shit in the middle of recess. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. Yeah, it was not. Never shat. And I also had like khaki long pants, so there was definitely a stain. So I literally ran to the bathroom, or well, A, I cried. B, the teacher saw me cry. C, they helped me clean up in the bathroom. D, they called my my babysitter who then gave me a new pair of I have of the worst image right now you just shitting in the middle of fucking lunch and then just running to the bathroom with shit fling it out of oh, your yeah. pants but I was like <laughs> fling it out of your pants but leg. I was like five and I started crying because I knew I shit my pants <laughs> 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 Because <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, because I the thing is, it's like the, the stuff that goes through your mind when you shit your pants is I I have to run to a bathroom. I don't have a change of clothes. I don't want people to know. <laughs> so it's like all those at once are so overwhelming when you're like five. You're just like, like I, you start crying. You're like, like fuck oopsie, it. I made a poopsie. You just fucking cry and run away to the fucking thing. I've heard you like that. Oopsie, I made a poopsie. What's the funniest line from White Chicks? That's no, it's not. Yeah, it's like, Is oopsie, it? I had a poopsie. Oh, what, well, she's like on the date with Terry Crews or whatever? Yeah, something yeah. like that, yeah. Damn, my little sense. girl, you can put it away. <laughs> Shit like that. Uh, his long, his big ass tongue. Yeah. Uh, like fizzling. Oh, fuck, no. <laughs> The fucking oyster. Sorry, yeah. Oh, yeah. So gross. Fucking nasty. Oh my god, dude. That movie was oh that movie's a classic. That movie is a, I'm surprised that movie because that movie is dumb. That movie's so stupid. A lot of the dumbass movies are the funniest it's ones. It's true. Like like uh, Grandma's Boy, right? Like that's Grandma's another like cold classic class. There was like some Hot Rod or yeah. Di- Napoleon Dynamite. Yes. Uh super right. super bad was a cult classic. Tropic Thunder. Yes. I rock the only and will be possibly the only instance where a man completely got away with blackface. Blackface, 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 blackface. Robert Downey Jr., remember? Oh. Boy. Blackface. Oh. Blackface. Oh, I'm a schoolboy. I was yeah, I was using blackface. Oh. The whole time. I still need to listen to the rest of that horrid album. I'm a dude disguised in a dude playing another dude. I'm a dude playing a dude playing another dude. Playing another, another dude. <laughs> what? This is so funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, stupid movie. Hey, didn't he get surgery? Wasn't the whole funny. thing that he got surgery to be black? Like, yeah. He got like a pigment surgery? See, yeah, he's Australian. <laughs> he got a pigment surgery to be black and play a black dude. <laughs> He rubbed his eyes and it turned blue in the middle of a fucking scene. It was I, funny. I, there is, you know what's, that would never fly. So there was, I, on Twitter, there was this thing trending of like a show and, um, and it was not, by the way, like even for the time a Tropic Thunder came out, this would still be racially insensitive, but it's even more so, like it's exacerbated. So there was like this, there's like a new show that got advertised and there's like a comedian I've never heard of. I don't know what his name is, but he like tries out for a radio show and he doesn't get it and then he like some i don't know where he gets the idea where he's like at a bar with a friend or whatever and he's like oh i'm gonna make a personality and then i'll be on the radio but i won't review who i really am and he does like a black woman but it's like her name's like straight up like shaniqua or something oh. it's really and then he's like mm-hmm, girl, like the whole not and it's just like what would happen if a man was pretending to be a black woman and you're like and nowadays, no How, way you would get away with that. That was that was advertised. Like I remember seeing it on Twitter trending like a 
couple weeks ago. Oh my god! Yeah, and like and like the 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 box art or like cover or whatever of it is him like having like a confused face and then he's taking off like two pieces of like a mask and it's like a black woman who's like oh like it's it like some eddie murphy 80s shit it's but like it's it's like trading places but just more racist and stupid no, yeah I... but not even trading places because trading places was like stature right like it was like Dan Aykroyd's a rich guy. Betty Murphy's a homeless guy. Like, and then mm-hmm. they switch places. This is just, what if a black, what if a white dude pretended to be black so he could trick a bunch of people and make money? There's a movie. That's it. <laughs> There's a movie that's a white guy thinking that he's black throughout the whole movie. And what? living, yeah. Wait, does he like, like, is it like that one woman thinks, who's like, oh, I have like the heart of a black woman or whatever the fuck he, she said? No, he's adopted and he thinks that he's black because he lives with the, with the black people. Is he blind? Is it like like a Clayton no. Bigsby thing? No, no, it's called The Jerk. <laughs> oh, and well. it's Steve Martin. It's oh. Funny. I, yeah. remember, I've, I, I have heard yeah. about that. Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty funny. That's one of the few Steve Martin movies I actually haven't seen. It's actually pretty funny. It's 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 good. It's very very. Good. I feel like that's I feel like that's the only way you can get away with that, it. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, it's like, like I had no idea that was the premise of the movie. Well, well, yeah, he's he's an orphan and he thinks that he's black and his parents are too. <laughs> they can't tell him or they try to tell him, but like he doesn't get it. Well, and so he like travels to the city to start a new life, and he thinks that he's black. And then he meets a pretty girl and like, you know, shit goes sour. I feel like I've seen scenes like when you mentioned that he dated a black it's girl, funny. like it's a, it's a, a vague movie. It's, it's a funny movie. No, he doesn't date a black girl, but he, he dates like he tries to date. And, oh, I'm thinking of, you know, I'm thinking of Anchorman 2 where he dates yeah. a black girl. It's, Megan, it's Megan wacky. Good. It's like the 80s modern like day of like wacky, funny, stupid movies. Oh, okay. It's funny. It's actually pretty funny. Oh, what's chat saying? I don't understand how American dad, I want my mom. Mm. What? What happened? When you're assigned to the kindergarten boss, Kung Pao into the fist. Kung Pao. That's a cult classic. Yeah. yeah. yeah no, American Dad's still here so some of those risky scenes. Oh, it's not even uh, Family Guy risky uh, scenes. Seth MacFarlane, like, he like he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't. He, he doesn't give a and shit. And now people, he's done it so much now that people are just like, oh yeah, that's the humor. Sometimes I just yeah. I can't watch the rest of. The, I just like have to stop because it's like too much. They because like the thing with those shows is that. They usually just get real about it most of the time. Sometimes they'll do stupid stereotypes for sure, but like a lot of the times they'll just be very real, and you're just like, "Shit, like I can't." What? Damn, what's wrong with you? Like, there's, I, I don't know how to describe it, but that's American Dad and Family Guy I'm both have done that. I, I I saw one. It was like one of the deleted episodes of Family Guy, and it did something really really terrible. Something about abortion or something like that because oh, of the God. the new um, Alabama ruling or whatever the fuck. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. So they, they did a, they did an episode like that. on that. Well they they did and they banned it so they didn't air it. So I watched it and it was terrible. It's like that degree, and then you have like. You know where it was except it was kind of you know you could stomach it like the midnight dumpster baby type shit oh yeah yeah they have that dumpster baby yeah, that. but then they had God, this episode no was just strictly on peter like rejecting you know or uh, abortion uh, for for abortion and and oh, like, you mean again or was he pro-life or pro-choice he was uh pro-choice or okay. no he's pro-life yeah so he was saying don't no no, no 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 he was saying like he doesn't give a shit pretty much so poor pro-choice yeah pro-choice is kind of Ish, I don't get. It's more like I want women to choose whatever the hell they want to do. Well, he was born that, for the Alabama ruling. So. Okay, so he's for pro life. Okay, pro life. Not getting us confused. Because Alabama, you'll get, you'll be put in jail for aborting a baby longer than you would be for raping someone. Fuck. Yeah. It's pretty. So you can't abort. You will get arrested if you are raped and have a baby. You will get arrested for trying to abort that baby longer than the man who raped you. Damn. Talk about some dumb shit. Yeah. But yeah, in the episode, like it's 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 fucked up. It's. Really I'm not surprised. Up. They got banned for like a Jew. They got banned for like a Jew one back in the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The 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 I need a Jew. You had to air on Adult Swim first. Yeah, it was because it was the whole thing was like, I forgot why they got into like financial troubles, but they like needed an accountant and to deal with it, and so he like did a whole. Um, like a Pinocchio, I think it was from Pinocchio. 
and it was like Oof. it was like oh look at that and it works um, yeah and he was just like i need a jew <laughs> oh yeah I, I can't i can't remember the song the song was actually pretty funny um Austin Powers is less. I think Austin Powers is less cult classic. Paul, that's like. Oh come on! Just, Austin Powers is great. No, but like not cult classic. You know what I mean? Like cult classics. Like I think it wasn't think big it has, at first, and then it got big. I thought Austin oh, Powers was like it is a cult classic. No, 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 it isn't. Oh, I I'm think saying it it's just a cla- like it's just like a well known like thing now. Austin Powers, right? Maybe I could be wrong. I thought I didn't think it was a cult classic. I thought it was just a classic. Oh, I think it's a cult classic. I don't think a lot of people like like that movie when it was coming out American Dad is an episode about taking a baby away from a gay couple and taking it to live with the real parent I remember that cool. yeah Stan, Stan took you know he has like that gay, the gay neighbors yeah yeah so they they adopted a baby and he was like oh they shouldn't have a baby because they're gay and they're and, yeah. and like he'll raise them to be gay like yeah. how would people so he like there's like this whole thing where he kidnaps a baby and he's like on the news and he's like trying to take him to their parents like some of like like a farm maybe I'm mixing episodes but hmm. but it's something oh, yeah, like that does. yeah he does. and he's like <laughs> Protein. <clears throat> so I ate, uh, I, I ate something that fell out of the baby, and am I gonna die or am I the strongest man in the world? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Terrence? How you doing? Hey! What up, Terrence? How you doing? There's another one. Stan tries to prove that Muslims are terrorists. I don't remember that one. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the thing. It's like it's numerous. There are numerous, you know, skits that he does know. that are just. You know, Skits. beyond fucked up. He d- he just doesn't. Skits. Well, because like <laughs> yeah, <but> the, <laughs> the thing with like that type of comedy is that it's hard to find a balance where you're just being honest and then you're just being rude. I feel. You know. You know what I mean? Is there's like a there's like a line where it's like. Yeah, I've seen that, or yeah, that's a dumb stereotype, or yeah, that's a thing. And then there's another line where it's like, okay, now you're just being ignorant and stupid. Well, here uh, I've I, like I'm, gonna play devil's, I'm gonna play devil's I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I'm gonna move the camera because it's not in your face. Oh yeah, it's in the way now. Oh yeah. Um, can you still see it? Yeah. Okay. Nothing about so, gay neighbors are fine. Terrence, we love all, uh, all people. I think there's a, a a movement of 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 comedians who are. Oh don't give a shit because everyone has to be politically correct yeah, yeah. nowadays. We, we experience, we already talked about that on a podcast, but we experienced oh, that at the comedy club, right? Yeah, yeah. that's, that's, that's the thing now. And I think that's, I mean, that's one of the examples of it because that's what family guy has, has made most of their shows based on controversial stuff. A lot of the cartoon comedies, controversial stuff that's outlandish and really, you know, just fucking terrible, you know, type of oh, shit, yeah. you know? Just fucking terrible. Just yeah, fucking terrible. terrible. Especially what, from what we saw from those type of comedians and how, how bitter you can actually be, you know? And how that molds the type of comedy you try to create and the people you're trying to offend. Because those people were trying to offend. <laughs> they weren't trying to make yeah. jokes. So it's like, yeah, you were saying it's like... The line is so thin. It is. Like, oh, I'm being offensive. Oh, I'm being funny. Well, there's racist stuff because it's funny. Well, so like, and that's and that's the thing is like, just saying racist shit doesn't make you funny. It's like, you have to. There, there is a method to it, right? Like of being able to. There's a method to the madness. Well, you're able to point something out that has to do with racial whatever, and you're not being a racist. You're just being stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like. um, Insensitive. Insensitive. I just had something on the tip of my tongue of like, um, kind of an example of that. Uh, God damn it! For whatever, I forgot about it. But it's, I don't know. It's, it's a weird line, and there's a lot of stuff where it's like, some stuff was just accepted as being stupid, and now it's like. Hey, now you're just being. Now it's like it's that line of like, okay, are you being an asshole or are you just being stupid? Yeah, like yeah. There's a line between yelling the n word and 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 you know well, yeah, and not yelling the n word. Well, like Michael Richard, right? Like so, for example, for a guy, I don't know. YouTube, but in terms of service, what's that? But uh, I'm gonna. I can play this instead. There's a thin line. There's also one where a sex offender takes his son and his friends all dressed in wetsuit onesies to a water park and makes them wrestle in Greece. Oh. I shouldn't be laughing. 
I shouldn't be laughing. Oh, his oh, name. I've seen the thank oh, you song. Name. Ready? One, two, three. What? And we had to thank you, you for the time Thank you for being thank a friend. You. Thank you. Following back down the road, road and back again. Back again. Your heart is true. Air a pal, you're a confidant. Don't. And if you move apart. Yeah, that's it.